Hello everyone, good day. Welcome to the Academy for Digital Learning and Mastery Studio, ADLM. In our last video on this channel, we were able to look at how to make use of the ADLM plan switch plugin for one takeoff for substructural works and frames. We also looked at reinforcement calculation for these items of work and other various items of work. You can find that video, last video in the pinned comment up there. Now, in this today's video, we'll be looking at how to make use of this same ADLM plan switch plugin for measurement or point takeoff for items of work such as block work, openings, that's our window and door openings, and other associated items of work. We'll also be looking at automated calculation for lintel and concrete. Don't forget to watch this video to the end. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Let's get into this video. Okay, now let's pick things up from where we stopped. See, we, I'm sure if we launched our last video, I'm sure we're all familiar with this view and now we got to this view. Now we'll make some adjustments to this. This is also to help you with your workflow and improve your workflow. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel. Okay, now you see the list of pages here. These are the pages in our uh, drawing that we loaded the last time. I showed us. Now what we do want to load our textual drawing in this time around. What you do is right click on this and you come back to because once you guys load architectural joins into this now so what we do now is you click on folder so you click on folder name the folder so we know folder will be architectural then okay then we have this here so you can just leave this folder here then we'll come back here okay, click this again then we'll name this structural strs so that means all we have here now is a folder for architectural drawings and a folder for our structural drawings. Now what you do is these two folders will drag them to the top. So all you do is see this icon here, adjust page or that click on this. See these two folders, first one, then control click. You press control button down and click. So you have this here, then click on top, or just click on this here to take it to the top. Once you've taken this to the top, okay. So we have your architecture and structural join. And let's quickly work on for structure. I click on the first structural join, then click on shift to the last structural join, and click on this right in there. So it will put everything to this folder. Make sure it's arranged like this, then into the folder. So you have all your structural joins in the folder and close. So you see that is up here. You have a 17 page structural join, and your architectural join is up here. Okay. Now, what we'll do next is now bringing our architectural join that I want to use for this video. For us to do that, we click on this plus icon. So I click on the plus icon, select from image files, next, come to browse. So when you select browse here, you would go to where you have your join as in documents. So go, just navigate, it's from browse you click, so browse for folders, remember that? So we have the YouTube videos, plan switch drawing. Okay. So I have our existing floor plan. Next. You can, it depends on the quality of your work. So you can set this quality to 200. The higher this goes, the higher the file size or the picture quality. Take note. Most of the time I use this as 300 to 500 because of the file size of this basic when it comes on your system. So take note of that. For this year, we change this true color. Next. Next, then this loads the drawing in. Now you see we have our architectural floor plan here already. I see the floor plan has been loaded, and this is a simple floor plan. So for this year, we don't have the elevation now, so so we'll just drag this into this folder. Up. So I'll show you the second method of dragging files into your folder. So we'll click on the first file, then shift, then the last file, then drag this into this folder. Just press, just drag once first file, last file, drag. See now we have this. So you have your drawings where you have your architecture folder and your structural folder this manner. Let's go to the flow plan I want to use for our measurements. We'll be using this for our measurements. So we'll scale our drain. So we will not scale by now. That'll be 5.43. We'll pick from the first point to this point. If you are not sure, just press M on your keyboard to magnify. Then for your vertical, so click on scale, 4.4. 4. 
Okay. So click from this first point to the last point. Okay, that's good. So once you're done with this here, come to lock work and openings. You have this in the plugin for the this thing. So for those that have installed the plugin, you should see the the link of plugin. We have the material element out of we have a material sheet to and other items. All of this comes with the plugin. Okay. So the underworld area, you turn this on. So once you turn this on here, just include the wall size that's just to five wall. That's the mean. Your height of wall is there's three meters, number of floor is one, and the folder now should be ground floor. Remember, we put that this folder earlier, ground floor. Just watch the past video on how to do this. Then click OK. Now, once you've done this, you'd select and move around. So it fits perfectly into the space. That's how you go about it for your two five walls. Okay. Now, next point also. Next point. Next point. But this year also do the same thing. The entire words are 150. Um, the data was uh two to five two thirty was that's the five was so make sure you just take it like this okay so that's how you take off all your block work very simple and stop now once you've done with this you can easily check verified dimensions for your windows use the dimension here since we're not giving our window dimension to check the width, this is 1.8. This is 1.2. So this is you put putting in through worst case scenario where you don't have your complete joints or information are not complete on your joints, and you need to quickly prepare your bill of quantities. So this is how you go about it. So your doors are 900. this also now once you're done with this and okay stop all we do now is for next one part is for your door opening see this door map barrier door openings too but what we'll be using for this video is this door opening so you click on door opening here click on this the wall where the door is located is to five wall because the one tower was at to five the number of floor is one Leave number at zero if you don't have a window shader. Then the width is um one zero point nine, while the height is two point one, still on ground floor. Okay. So with this, you select all your nine hundred windows um doors rather nine hundred doors. They are all timber doors, unless otherwise stated by the architect. Okay. You have all of these as your nine hundred walls. Okay, good. Then right click this video. Forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Okay, have a wonderful day.